awesome arsenal. We're killing it now. Cutest little baby. He's going to sleep. He's too too much. Uh, too much. Oh, I woke him back up. <laughs> So today there's like the most people I've ever seen at the gym. Like the whole thing is like absolutely packed. Well I'm not sure if they're just here for the gym. They might be here for like some event that they do sometimes. But it seems like there's tons of people. But that's good. But yeah I'm trying to get the, the workout in the morning. Like we need to so that the rest of the day is free and I can make sure to, to do that. And, Make it awesome. I forgot to do an assignment last night that was due at midnight. Thought it was due the next class period. So that sucks, but it's passed. <laughs> I missed it. And yeah, we're gonna go kill it at the, at the gym. Work at. I forgot a water bottle today. So it's like my mouth is like pure dry sweat and dry sweat. It's just dry just getting into it. I think I'm gonna go the full full workout even though I don't have any water. So hopefully I'll be alright and drink a ton after the workout. Yeah, I'm full of omelet from going to Ben and Carolyn's and feeling good other than I'm super thirsty. Yeah, make sure you bring your water bottles because you can get uncomfortable otherwise. <laughs> I think that'll be the workout for today. Um, about 550 calories, about 12 miles in about 40 minutes. Definitely not forgetting my water next time. Makes it a lot, that much harder actually to do the workout. Like this workout feels so much harder than others. I mean, I'm going at relatively the same speed that I have before, so pretty interesting. Make sure to have your water when you're doing the workouts, during the workouts, not just before and after. There's so many people here today, like the most I've ever seen. So many people. The whole parking lot is full like everywhere. This is how I expected it to be like on the 1st of January. Like this many people. But it was just the regular amount. It's been the regular amount until today. I don't know why. I think there's like junior jazz going on. There's like yoga class. And then there's just like so many people working out. Which is great. Um, I still had a spot. Like even though it's like the most full today, there's still tons to do. and. Tons of openings, I guess, for different equipment, but yeah, today's gorgeous of a day. It's not even that cold. If it could stay this way the rest of the year, well, if it got a little bit warmer still, but this, this is fine, this is great. Wish me luck, I hope to have a wonderful day. Sometimes you can compare yourself to others when you're working out or at the gym or see things online and I do it sometimes I'm like man I didn't do as much as they did like I must be not doing well but you really have to compare yourself just to yourself and I know I'm getting better like I'm able to do more like today's workout would have been like impossible or like really really hard the first time I did it and now I don't even have that much I'm like doing pretty well I'm not even that tired I am thirsty but that's about it cool fire truck I love how the firemen are always here Sometimes it's the cops too. This corner right here, the communal, sort of covered by that light, is my favorite restaurant in Provo Orem area. Maybe in Utah. I used to live on the street just up here next to this building I'll show you here in a second. You guys might see me like complain or talk about hard things, but what I found is that turning on the camera helps me resist a lot of the like the urges I have. If I have to record that I want to eat and get it out there, like verbalize it. So I want to go to this bakery. I had a great breakfast, just worked out, but I want to get this apple strudel treat that they have or donut essentially that they have at the bakery here. The Provo Bakery, it's this little bakery. You wouldn't really know about it if you didn't know it was there, I guess. It's, it's this place right here on the side, the Provo Bakery. But I used to live right here. <laughs> so you see that corner? And you see that bakery? So I could just literally walk out my door from this house and go right to the bakery. And I did, all the time. Uh, that was like two, maybe three years ago now that I live there. It's just really good to video it because I know I shouldn't have it, but my body's just like, hey, what about some sugary 
salty fried treat and I'm just like yeah that sounds amazing and then my mind has to be like hey that's like the worst thing for you outside of like high fructose corn syrup and I'm like well that's okay it tastes good <laughs> but it helps to like get it out there and tell somebody so if you don't vlog your life or whatever like I do because it's a little weird then just tell somebody when you're like man hey I, I'm trying to not to resist bad things just text somebody be like hey I really want to get this tell me not to but text somebody that would like help you because I have some friends that would be like go get it like I'll go with you <laughs> and then I have others that like friends or family that would help me resist some don't care not that they don't care about you but they they just you know want you to get the good stuff it does help to tell some people and I'm telling you guys right now I'm going to my dad's birthday later today I'm liking how my haircuts looking what do you think Thank you that have all mentioned so far. I think it looks pretty good to you. And having the short hair is definitely nice. It feels good. It's interesting when you make these changes. I feel like I look different now. I had short hair when I first started losing weight, but now I feel like I look different than then. Like pretty exciting to make that happen. The rough part is every day having to make the, the choice. Um, over the long run, you're like, yeah, this was totally worth it. But on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, you want to make sure that you're making the right choices and I think I'm like 99, 98% strong this this whole time and that's I, it's something to be proud of. I don't ever get balloons for people, or I never have really, but there's some balloons for my dad. Cause that's what 50 year old men need, are balloons. So it's my dad's birthday. This is the old man right here. That's awesome. No, 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 no. Old man. Old man. So if that's seven up, why I'm old dad, then you're like way older. But there's tons of people here. Got the good food. So yeah, we're gonna play some games. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear father. Loves to take pictures. Now I have to be in a picture with my dad. Whoa! Take it again. Oh yeah, taking a picture of a picture. Hey. We have to say, what's the one piece of wisdom you have in all your years? Carlos is the coolest dude there. Ever and you're not that wise. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I um, got a workout in, did a lot of good things. Love you guys. Thanks so much for being there for me. Tomorrow's my weigh-in. I think I've lost a little bit of weight. I'm not sure why things are going a little bit slower now than before. I need to sort of sit down and reevaluate where how things are going, but I'm still losing one, two, three pounds a week. Not bad. But I do want to like jump start it and kick it up a little bit here in the next little while. I want to make a goal of something to reach by the end of the month, either a weight goal, exercise goal, because uh, I'm still eating and um, right and exercising every day, but I'm not really like progressing towards any specific goals, um, either with push-ups or my 5K, a bunch of these things. I need to sit down and set them and, and make that happen. Please subscribe to my channel, I like this video, and have a wonderful night, have a wonderful day whenever you watch this, and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>